and welcome back to episode 4, Completion. So we last left off wiring up the board for a test, and everything worked just fine. So I have to go into the settings and configure everything. Uh, but other than that, everything is working great on the Sabre. Now that I know everything is working fine, I use some hot glue uh, to protect, protect all of the joints there. So hopefully those won't uh, snap or break um, over time. And with this being braided up very nicely, the wire should coil into the uh, hilt with no problem. So we shouldn't have any issues with this snapping or breaking. And then I also did a little glue there to keep the braiding together at the end, and that way I can get a nice smooth connection uh, to the board from there. So now all we have to do is just um, get these wires cleaned up here, get the speaker fully attached in there, and then update and secure and take care of the configuration on the SD card. Uh, so that's what we'll do. Uh, we'll first begin with getting these wires cleaned up and here these aren't very straight so I want to get those evened out and we'll get that fed into the hilt. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, separate my switches here uh, and this is why I added these because it just makes things so much nicer and uh, easier. And, uh, oh, by the way, as I'm doing this, I'm uh, enjoying some uh, Haribo Gold Bears. And they're very good. Moving on. <laughs> uh, so the first step I'm going to do is uh, undo the solder on the Neo Pixel here. More so just the blue lines so I can get those wires um, straight and... Um, and organized. Then I'm going to take off the um, the power lines here, the uh, battery negative and positive, and then I'm going to uh, shorten this so that way that extra wire isn't hanging out, and then I'm going to clean up um, these three wires here and uh, cut them to length and make it so that it's uh, one clean wire going into the power so all that can tuck down and be uh, not be noticeable. To help me better get to the board, I removed the uh, speaker connection. And uh, here's a little tip. Get yourself a little piece of uh, electrical tape and then tape your wires off to the side. That way you don't lose how you fed them. And then you can um, easily get to what you need to do without losing those wires or having them uh, get in the way. And sometimes you know, wires are all over the place and it gets confusing when you solder. So that little piece of electrical tape will help out a great deal. Moving on to the power. And we are almost there. As you can see, I got the wires cleaned up there. Everything's looking pretty good. Can't see anything showing. Joints are looking nice. All I have is the switch and the NeoPixel uh, connection uh, wires coming out there, braided nicely, so that should coil up pretty good. And uh, I already did a test, but uh, this part is over. <laughs> this is just the beginning. Everything's working solid. So I guess all that's left. Now, or actually the next step, will be removing the SD card, getting the firmware updated, and loading on the uh, Ray uh, sound fonts on there. So we'll see how, uh, how that goes. Let's get this Saber updated and good to go. First things first, going to PlectorLabs.com, and we're going to get our... Uh, latest firmware update. So looking over here to the left uh, under articles we see tutorials, manual support, DIY videos, downloads, then CFX 
FW, that's firmware updates and night builds. I'm going to click there. And then here we have updates and night builds. So there's stable uh, releases. Uh, the latest one is right here, the um, version 10.005 Charlie. Uh, but we do have a beta version up here, which is uh, 10.005 Echo. Let's go ahead and try that and get the absolute latest thing on there. And you've got the firmware and then you've got um, the change log. The change log is going to tell you what changes have been made. Um, so you can read that and see what you can expect to be different in this version as opposed to the firmware uh, version before that, uh, the prior. And actually those are on here. There's the Delta right there and uh, Bravo, Charlie, so it tells you all those things. Looks like a lot was, was done here in the uh, Echo uh, beta. So I'll take some moment to read that uh, and get familiar with that later. So right now I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna um, copy that. Now a big thing, and I always say this in all of my videos, always make sure you back up and save what you have uh, before you make any changes. So I made a folder for Empress because that's the name of the hilt. And then here I have the folder called Backup Original and I just copied everything that was on that SD card and I moved that over here to this backup. And I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna use this for the next changes that I'm about to do. Now, I'm going to uh, go back over here to the SD card. I'm going to right click and I'm going to format this here. And uh, you want to make sure that uh, you format it because it's going to clear and delete all of this out. Another reason why you want to save it. It's going to delete all that out and then clear it so you can make your new adjustments and changes. So I'm going to do the quick click start. It warns me formatting will erase all data, so make sure you save that backup. Click OK. That closes. Format complete. Close this. And then looking over here, I can just click that, um, that drive, and now I see that it's empty over there. I'm going to use all of this here um, because I'm eventually going to sell this Sabre, but I do want to add uh, some fonts. And, uh, and I want to put basically a Ray, two Ray Skywalker fonts on there so that way it matches uh, the Sabre. Okay, so I have those two banks, 15 and 16. Now I'm going to come back to my backup here. Copy all of this. Put that in my new updated folder here. Paste it all. Everything pasted in there and should be in order. All of the sound banks with our added 15 and 16 there, Scavengers, Destiny, and Half Flex. Okay. Now, uh, some things I'm gonna change here eventually is the change log, since we're going to use the, the beta, uh, echo beta. I'm going to remove this one here, copy the change log, and the firmware update. Copy. Come back to Empress 25 Jan, and then we're going to paste those in here. There we go. So I'm going to rename this, uh, remove the CFX hyphen, and just leave it change log as it was before. With the firmware update in the root directory, we just need to rename this to just firmware or fw.dat. And then once we plug it in, it will automatically recognize that update and then apply it. So I've got everything that I need right there. Okay, so this is the SD card over here on the right. So I'm going to take this here and copy all of it. 
and paste on the SD card. All right, everything is looking good on there. We've got a firmware update. I changed, I did the change log, config. All right, so I don't need this window anymore. Now, to update this, we're gonna do it on, um, through Rice, through the Rice editor. So now I've got my Rice editor open. I'm going to pull the kill key so that way the computer recognizes the saver. Now I'm going to move over to remote and then here I'm going to click on uh, my port list and it says COM3. So I'm going to hit uh, enable the log. I'm going to connect. Select COM3. Now it says here this X open close, that means it's open. Um, and then to uh, test that, we can just do a power on. And you hear the saber, and you can check all of your you know, classes, swings. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do here is um, uh, get the firmware updated. So uh, I'm going to check the port list again. Like that, so now I'm connected, logs enabled, and I'm going to type in boot loader. Hit enter. Disconnects and then setting it up, blah, 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 blah. Now I'm going to check, click the port list again. Now it says COM8, this so it should change. Click that, and now if you look to the left here, it uh, gives me my um, information. You can either hit a button or type go. I'm just going to type go, hit enter. It's going to look for the firmware update, which it has. It will reboot, which you hopefully just heard. So all you have to do is just click that window and you can see right there, update finished, block successfully, and rebooting. Now I want to um, go through and check some of these settings. Now one thing is the board orientation. Remember we did change this. So I want to make sure that um, I have it right. So right now uh, it says top front and that's actually, remember I flipped the board over. So it's actually going to be bottom front and that's the orientation um, that we have there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and save all. And it does say right here, file colors config saved and blah, 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 blah. Um, and usually it'll speak or, or, or say that out loud too, um, but the saver isn't booted up, so we're not hearing any of that. So with that, everything should be uh, good to go. Let's uh, head back to the table and uh, check how everything worked out. All right, so we got done updating our firmware and changed some of the settings. And let's go ahead and see how everything turned out. Okay, let's do our sound selection. Sound bank selection. Young Lang. This is General Kenobi. Ray Skywalker. Young Ray. Ray Skywalker. You were right before. All right, cool. We have liftoff here. And let's do our flash and clash. All right, sounds good. So, um, sound bank selection. Ray Skywalker. Young Ray. Something inside me has always been there, and I was awake. All right, so uh, very close. So now at this point. Um, 
I mean, I've got some tweaking to do with the colors and some of the settings and things like that for those two fonts. I'll leave everything else the same and let the user um, customize how they want. But I'm going to try to set um, the Scavenger's Destiny and a Half Flex to what we saw in the movies. Uh, so now it's got to secure the pommel on and all that good stuff and get the wrap. And uh, we should be just about done here. Got the emitter on, got the pommel on. Now I'm going to apply the wrap. So I've got a couple of options. I can um, do the wrap around and cut out just the tactile uh, switch holes for the tactile switches or do the entire black portion open. So I'm going to try both and see which works best. And I'm thinking probably having the entire uh, portion open would be better because this is... Um, a bit uh, tacky it has some uh, some tack to it so if I do just a hole it might get stuck or not easily move so I think I'm just gonna go that option so everything's secure inside and I applied the wrap well it wasn't easy that's for sure it took me uh, about three goes before I got it right and uh, tried to cut around the cover tech wheel there. Um, I found that the switches still work covered up. So I'm just gonna leave that there so that way you just don't see the switches, which I think is um, kinda nice. Uh, I think the next thing I'm going to do is try to do another thin layer of darker brown in the center here. And the best way I can think of doing that is taking um, the leftover wrap that I have left and then tea dyeing it so basically you just get some black tea and set that in there and let it sit you know for a long time and then the tea will eventually darken uh, the color uh, a deeper brown so I'm gonna go for that next and see how that looks on top of here uh, if that doesn't work then I'll just leave this as is so all I did was just take some hot water and put a tea bag in there. Uh, we're going with the uh, English breakfast as you can see. Uh, we're gonna let this steep for much longer than four minutes. And I put the uh, the bandages or the wraps right in the tea. I'm gonna just let that soak for quite a while and uh, hopefully it'll eventually uh, take up some of the brown and uh, get darker and then after that wash it and then apply it to the to the hilt and hopefully that will be the darker brown uh, but would still be in the same uh, texture and look and feel as the uh, lighter side of the wrap. So I thought we were all complete and we hit a bit of a snag. So one I'm not completely convinced on the um, the darker brown wrap here. It just didn't get as dark as I wanted it to though you can see that it's uh, a darker brown it's just not quite what I was uh, hoping for uh, to match the movie uh, but the big thing is that uh, the Dark Wolf Sabres uh, dual tactile switch uh, failed on me uh, both of the um, uh, tactile uh, switches had um, uh, pressed into the housing so I mean the Sabre works great and it looks great as you can see but um, I can't power it on because, you know, the switches are shot. So I'm going to have to um, undo this wrap and replace the switch. And I might go to a single button setup. And would you look at that? That, uh, that pen, which really was one of the uh, switches, just rolled right out of there so yeah I, I can't use this thanks dark wolf for uh not giving me a solidly constructed switch i'm not going to undo the entire wrap just because it's unnecessary work and i want to keep the the organization of how i and the tightness of how i had it originally but as you can see here yeah that uh both of those uh switches just popped right out of that housing uh, so I have to, wow, the whole bottom came out. 
and that even separate that just sucks <laughs> that's all I can say um, so this is exactly the reason why I like using the quick connectors because when things like this happen you need to make adjustments I can just easily disconnect this and replace the switch I uh, may or may not do another dual tactile at least definitely oh wow that came completely separated from the top there and that's that's the one dark wolf sent I did this one here and then that was dark wolf's where that part just really came off that pin which you can see right over there so this is no good and unfortunately I did spend you know over ten dollars for this and it doesn't even work so that sucks anyway uh, new game plan the new plan is going to be to reuse this I'm using uh, shorter tactiles in there and they both function well and once I put this base in and it's not a very good system I've seen somewhere there's a hole here and you slide a post through and that's what holds the base in place which then keeps the switches uh, pushed up uh, this one is just it's all 3d printed and all you have are these little notches on the side uh, you can see right there yep so that holds in place so if you're pushing enough that can rub against the other uh, piece of uh, plastic and then just slide right out so I'm gonna secure this with some uh, with some glue so that way that doesn't move and keeps both of those tactiles um, in position and you can see them in there yep so far got the new tactiles soldered to the wire because I already have the connectors there so I might as well just use the same things and now I'm going to push this into the housing and get that glued together okay the switches are in place now I need to put this insert on now that it is in place I'm going to secure it with some glue I'm not going to use hot glue because that kind of the heat from the gun melts the edge a little bit and I don't want it to get too thick so I'm going to use some super glue and see if that really helps to secure that in place I went with the Gorilla Glue extra tough there so that's going to seal uh, that plastic guard in place so when you push the tactile switches it doesn't um, bump or push that down and out keeping those uh, switches effectively in place so I'm gonna let that uh, dry and cure over an hour or two and I'll be able to put this in the hilt and keep on rolling to wrap it up all right so the switch is ready to go before we put anything in the hilt it's always best to do a test Remember, always do tests before you finalize. I need someone to show me my place in all this. Okay. Looks like all of our switches are working just Sound fine. Bank selection. Ray Skywalker. Can I speak with you? Okay, everything's good to go. Let's put this in the hilt now. All right, and this saber is complete. So, got it uh, all placed inside and wrapped up. Uh, I wish this was a darker brown because uh, to match more like the movie, but at least you can see the contrast between the two colors. But uh, this will live for now, unless maybe I come up with another idea. But I did not like using... Uh, a regular brown leather wrap because I had one and it just didn't look right because hers is more worn and, and weathered and having a new one it just didn't look right. Um, I put the switch in but this time I put the uh, activation and auxiliary switches horizontally not vertically so that gives a little bit more um, grip there um, for the hand. Um, only thing is you know Ultra Sabers does not use 
for tension screws for their LEDs. And so the NeoPixel connector is kind of floating in there, which means it's not going to make strong contact against the blade, which could you know, cause blade uh, issues. Uh, so I need to devise a way to put in a retention screw. I can't hear because of the twisting cog and threading. This is just way too thick. So maybe I can tap it here, which would be just below the blade retention. Uh, so I might uh, strive for that. The inside looks good. This is probably uh, one of my more professional looking builds. So you can see there's the speaker, uh, kill key, and there's the board with our little Plector Labs toast symbol there. No wires exposed or showing, so it looks very clean, and this has a nice tight press fit there, so the board's not going anywhere. All the wires are braided and coiled in there, so it can freely and easily move the uh, chassis in and out and not worry about snapping or, or getting any of the wires uh, hung up in there. I would have liked to have weathered this more, but looking at uh, what you see in the movies, uh, hers isn't weathered um, drastically, so I tried to make it match uh, the best I could to the movie. But everything in here is working great, and the saber's good to go. So I want to thank all of you for following along on this series. I hope you enjoyed it and it was beneficial to you, and uh, hopefully entertaining too, and that maybe you learned something. I know I learned a few things each time I do these. and fired up and working great. So, my next video, I'll do a full review on this because I have not reviewed the Hilt at all yet. So you'll get a full, full review of that and just going over the, all the things that I did to it. So thank you very much for watching and as always, may the Force be with you.